what's happening folks so i'm just getting uh getting down here to the boat man this is uh we've, i've got something pretty cool planned today all right something a little bit different you guys are really going to like this video uh we're doing something that i haven't done in a really long time so what i'm going to do is uh man it is absolutely a beautiful day too for once man i've been trying to get out all week and it's been like 20 foot seas man it's just all right maybe not 20 foot seas but it's been rough so here's what we're gonna do, man. See this right here? This is a uh, this is a box of squid. It's a one pound box of squid. We're gonna take this one pound box of squid and we're gonna cut it up into little bitty pieces and we're gonna go catch our bait. And we're gonna try to catch croakers and pinfish and whatever we can catch with this little, little pieces of squid. And then we're gonna take them out to the bridges and stuff like that and see if we can catch some big daddies. All right, that's what we're going for today. Big fish on big live bait, so hey. Let's go make it happen. We just got to our first little croaker, pinfish, whatever bait fish hole. And check it out. I've got like a double hook rig right here, and uh, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be squid fishing. We got squid on both hooks, and so we're just kind of uh, we're just bait fishing, man. That's all we're doing right here. All right, we want to load up with bait. That is the goal. I'm getting my first bite here, but it dang sure feels like a pinfish, not a croaker. There he is. Hey, right. what is this? That's a pinfish. That's a pinfish. He's okay. Not really what we want, but he's okay. Let me get the live well going. All right, there's bait number one. Ow! Stupid. Right now, I'm getting a live well full of pinfish. That's okay. We're gonna find, oh, there's one. There he is. There he is. What we got? Oh, he came off. That actually felt like a decent one there, man. A lot of pinfish, man. Good gracious. <sighs> Another pin, baby. Another pin. I ain't hating all pins. All right, pin. You know, croakers. They're like, uh, they're like a dessert for like every kind of fish out here. They're and not not like a store bought dessert. I'm talking about like. Your grandmother's after Thanksgiving dinner dessert. That's what a croaker is. All right, these pinfish, they're like a knockoff, you know, Hershey's pie or something. Knockoff. I ain't talking about Hershey's. Like, they're, they're okay, but they're not great. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Check this out. We starting to get some croaks now. All right, this right here, this is homemade chocolate pecan pie. All right, there no fish out there is going to resist the homemade chocolate pecan pie. Listen to him croak right there. So guys, this is what you don't want to catch when you're croaker fishing right here. I've got a croaker on a hook and I've got a hard head catfish on a hook. Look at that candy right there. Look at that candy. Now we got to go take care of this hardhead. I was just getting through saying, man, I ain't, I ain't caught a hardhead catfish yet. It's been my lucky morning, but guess what? We got plenty of bait right now. So now we're going to go catch some real fish. All right. All right, folks, we are pulling up here. Hey, where are you at? There you are. We're going to get us a little croaker out and get the fishing and see what happens here. And I'm going to start with my light rod, okay? And we're just going to... Uh, we're going to pitch this croaker in here. I'm using an owner kale hook. It's one of my favorite little hooks to use when I'm croaker fishing. Don't really have a lot of options today as to where to fish because the wind is blowing so dang hard, man. I was not expecting it to do this. But it is straight gassing at the moment. Ooh, 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 ooh. We just got smoked, guys. We just got smoked. He's on. He's on. There he is. There's a fish. There's our fish. There he is. There he is. Come here. Come here. This feels like a netter, too, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at the one with him. Oh, my goodness. Look at the fish with him. 
Guys, I got the smallest one of the bunch and there is giant fish with him. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Come here. I gotta get my ego net. Come here, come here, sweet. That's a big freaking trout. So guys, this was the smallest fish in there by a long shot. And this ain't a bad one, like this is a decent trout. But the there was probably 10 that followed him out. One of them was probably three times as big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this one. We're gonna have us a, a trout lunch, me and Melanie. But uh, I'm gonna go, uh, I gotta go catch, I gotta catch this up. We're tossing us a, uh, Getting us another croaker going right here. We got the wind right in our face, unfortunately. And so I kind of have to wait to toss these croakers when the wind wind chills out. Oh, that's a perfect cast. That's a perfect cast right there. Let's see if this one will get chomped too. Let's see if these other ones in there, uh, they didn't swoop, man. There was so many other good fish. And I'm just really hoping they didn't spook. <sighs> He's definitely running right now from something. He's hauling butt. Oh yeah, we're on. We're on. We're on. There he is. That's a good one. I got one of the big ones, guys. I got a monster. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Monster. Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's around the pole. What happened, the big, I had a giant and he shook the hook. And as soon as he shook the hook, another one that was a lot smaller ate it. And this is still a nice one. This is still a nice one. He's just not as big as the giant I had. It's crazy. The giant I had shook the hook. Come here, baby. Come here. Ah. This is still a freaking stud trout right here. Now, that, my friends, is a speckled trout. <laughs> but the problem is, he was not even, this ain't even close to the big one in there, and I had the big one hooked up, and he was pulling drag, and he shook the hook. And when he shook the hook, he shook the croaker out of the mouth, and the croaker was still on the hook, and there was another one right behind him, and he came up and ate the croaker, and I hooked him. And this was the, this was the one, so. Oh, we're gonna keep him, too. Let's put us some other, some more filet mignon out there, boys. Let's get us some more filet mignon going right here. we go. That's that chocolate pecan pie I was talking about, guys. You just put them out and hold on. The problem is, man, if I hang like a big red or something, he's going to wrap me around this post. There is ain't nothing I can do. He got he got rowdy then. Oh, I think he's getting bit. Uh, one's definitely chasing him. You know, I've noticed something. Every fish that I hang, I call a giant. I'm like, dude, this is a stud. This is a monster. I just can't quit. It's like uh, it's like vomit of the mouth. Oh my gosh, he's just smoked it, guys. Oh my goodness, I just got hit. Holy smokes, this is this is a monster. This is a monster. Oh my gosh, guys, this is, I'm not even kidding, this is, an, this is close to a monster. This is as close to a monster as it's gonna get right here. I think. <laughs> he's a good one. He's a good one. I was back there. I was about to move because I haven't gotten a bite at this spot. And I was back there and uh, about to reel in and he smoked it. Okay, this one, this one is gonna get released. This is a giant female and we wanna release these giant females, okay? He about snatched the freaking rod out of my hand. 
Come here. Okay. How about that for a real fish right here, guys? That is a speckled trout right there. That's a beast, dude. That's a nice one. And he's bleeding, and I want to get, there she is. This is a big female. I'm not going to keep it. Man, that fish there just about snatched the rod out of my hand because it was so unexpected. It was just like, I, I was not expecting it. Let's just put it that way. I thought that I'd fish this area out. I was ready to move. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. There he is. There's another one. Oh my goodness. That's another good one. That's another good one, baby. Yes, sir. This one may be bigger than the last one. He's in the, he's in the dock. I got to pull him out of the dock. Oh, he broke me off. Oh, he broke me off. I don't, I couldn't do anything. I think it was a redfish. I'm pretty sure that was a redfish. God dang it. Oh, that's, that is frustrating right there. That is so frustrating. If that don't make you want to go to the house, I don't know what will. That's frustrating. And you know, the problem with it is, so when you're catching these trout in, in redfish in super shallow water, clear water, like what we're in right now, you do have to use lighter line. And so when you hang a big red, that was a big red. You could tell by the way he was fighting. I mean, sometimes they get you around the dock. Unfortunately, man, that fish that I just hung, he was just, ah, I don't like that cast. I don't like that cast at all. Sometimes when you throw these croakers, they'll balloon up in the air and won't go very far after recasting. You can hook them through the top of the back. You can hook them through the nose. You can hook them through the very back. It doesn't really matter. Like when you get in front of these fish, they eat it. There we go. So I hope you folks enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed catching those fish. Don't click off yet. I've got some, I got a couple pretty big things to talk about. Is my lens fogging up? I think it is. It's the first big thing to talk about. All right, today is my birthday. I know, and I am, I am getting old. All right, let's put it that way. But here is, if you've been a loyal subscriber to my channel, man, I'd really, really appreciate it if you would go to my description so they, they ha every year they have this contest where all the businesses in Pensacola in each, in each genre, they, uh, they get voted on and then they have a winner, like the best of Pensacola. And I was nominated, my business was, and I've made it to the last 10 finalists for best of Pensacola in my uh, particular genre for my business. And it would mean a ton to me if you guys who have been following me for a long time would just go, um, or if you have, or if you just like the channel, just go to, and hit that uh, hit that link in my description, put in your information, and vote for me. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. I think you just have to put your like email address and info in there so that you can prove you're not a bot. They don't want anybody cheating or whatever. And so uh, that's first big news, and I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys would uh, take take two seconds and go do that. Um, the second is um, I'm leaving tomorrow. I've got to go back down to South Florida. I've got some more clients down there that I got to take care of. Hopefully, I'll have an opportunity to uh, make a fishing video when I'm down there. And so if I do, then I'll uh, definitely be putting that up next week. Not 100% sure yet, it's just gonna be a quick trip, but uh, hopefully hopefully I'll get to do some fishing. So, But as always, I really, really appreciate you watching these vids. Uh, you know, it for me personally, like going out and catching that bait and, and filming everything, and that took, that took a long time. And so you guys really inspire me to continue to do that and continue to put more effort into these videos because you're watching it. And for that, I, you know, I'm very, very grateful. So, but other than that, I hope everybody's staying safe. Everybody's happy. Y'all have a great weekend.